Let's talk test results. Test results. And by the way, you're at Love Them Knives. We do testing. Why? I don't know. Nobody seems to really give a shit. If you know what I mean? I get like 500 views on my videos to do this. So like nobody really wants to know. So I probably am like one of the most hated people for actually doing this. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I want to know the hardness. I want to know if it's real, whatever they're claiming, especially on kind of no name brand stuff and this and that. But okay. I, I find it intriguing. And by the way, it costs me hundreds of dollars to get this tested. I don't have a guy just like, hey, I, yeah, I've got a $40,000 uh, uh, XRF analyzer. Uh, you know, I'd do it for free. For No. So if you would like to contribute to the cost because you even think it might be interesting to know this stuff, I would appreciate it. Um, I've got a Zelle account and a Cash App account. You could shoot me some money if you want to kick in because I'm going to start slowing down doing this because I could spend like $400 to $500 a month doing this. And uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to make a car payment out of it. Um, but I'd appreciate anything uh, that you might want to kick in. Let's get to the test results. Here's the list of knives. Now, okay, I'll just give you the list of knives. This is what I'm calling batch three in my little thing. The Cabal Danka, Ethan Grau, Ethan Grau. One's a D2, one's a 14C. The Keto Telson, so that is made by Reich Knives. Remet, X Tau. Hornbill, QSP, Benchmade, Crooked River, and my, that's mine. <laughs> There's a story behind that. Shield and Viper, QVIST, and how did I do that? Okay, yeah. Production uh, PE1 on this one. The Sencut, Real Steel, Ritter, and Petrified Fish, CH Knife, Devo, Pony Stout, Petrified Fish, Mikado, Sabibi Baby Banter, and then I had three Phobos knives, and two of them are coated. Only the Alaris could be actually XRF and get an actual valid um, HRC because the others were coated and it messes with everything. So I've contacted Phobos to see if I can get an uncoated Cacula and Tier 1. He's going to do that. But I'll report on the Alaris today, okay? So let's start out with the Caval Danka. And Danka very much. And here it is. It, it's a huge knife. It's monstrously huge. And it's way cool. I was, they kind of, they're, I mean, you can get to their website. I got to poke twice right there. See that? Okay, so that's proof proof a certain and this is these are like little liner locks even though you would think they'd be a frame lock but they're not and they're high quality knives and they're not giving them away either so they're not inexpensive but they're fascinating but they're small okay and that's why this doesn't even have a pocket clip you don't need it i mean it's just so small but here it is and they say it's m390 is it m390 and if so What's the deal? And yes, it's real M390. And the Rockwell, it was punched twice, like I showed you. The first time I think they punched, or one of the two times they punched, it was 60.6. The other one was a 61.1, okay? So there it is. We'll go even ground next. 60.6, 61.1. So, look, hell, let's just rip that Rip that page off. Here we go. We'll feed it to you a little at a time to keep you in suspenders. But actually, I'm going to put all this information down below because, you know, some people just don't even want to listen to it. They just want to look at numbers and go on. They're busy. Okay, that's fine. Just, you know, click ads and get me some, you know, AdSense money. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> you can watch whatever you want to watch. Okay, next one. Let's go to the Ethan Growl. 953. It's in D2. Okay. The E from Grau. 953. And I think that's this one. And it is. And where we go? Smack, smack. Double smack. Double smack on the E from Grau. And this one, of course, is handmade. 
you know, by uh, Keebler Elves, and it's uh, $8 million, and it's probably 25 bucks or whatever. But, okay, so here's, here's the deal. Get this. <laughs> Okay, I, I, have you already gone to the bathroom and you got your Depends diapers, whatever on, because this is going to freak you out. I'm going to freak you out. Check that out. Yeah, it's D2. Of course, you know, 12% chromium, blah, blah, blah. Vanadium can run anywhere from 0.4 up to 1.1, it seems like, on these things. And, um, but look at this. 64? 64.2? Come on, man. Because the bag knife thing I thought was a banger when it was 62.1. Are we really doing 64? That's insane. That's freaking insane right there. Oh, my God. Now, does that mean, oh, everything was done beautifully, all the tempering and blah, blah, blah? I don't know. I know the hardness, okay? And I know the, the composition. That's all I know. I'll put all the crazy stuff down there along with the list of other knives that we've tested in the past and you can see the rockwells and uh, xrf results and all that okay so there is that library of stuff down below okay let's go on to the next even ground i 14c it's a 14c it's a tiny little gent carry bam this is a monster but it's 14C, supposedly, but are they lying to us? And you know what? I didn't have any even ground knives, so I bought these two just because I wanted to test them again. I've been jazzed by some people like, uh, I wonder if they ever got their act together, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. So, the even growl. The even growl is right here. There's a Telson. Even growl. 14C. Is it 14C? Yes, it's 14C. And it's a 59. Let's just call it 59, 59.1. Okay. For 14C, that's that's within spec. Okay. Uh, so that's good. This is insane. This is fine. Okay. So then the Telson, like we were talking about, let's go Telson. Telson is sitting here looking at me. I love the Telson. And this is... Um, Ian at, I mean, he lives up in New York, um, and uh, he handles the the Reich USA, but it's Keto USA, because Keto is the parent company or whatever. So Keto USA, this is his own design, the Telson. I like it. I like it. M390, it's got that multicolor. You can get different inlay stuff on here, and you can go to Keto USA and buy these, right? But I just thought it was it's just a beautiful knife. I love everything about it. And I missed it while it was gone. And now I'm going to get it back to put in my rotation now that it's back. But I love it. Now where are we with it? And here's the stats. I mean, read them and weep or don't or whatever. Okay. Yes, it's real M390. 59.3. 63. 60.3 would be better. It's a little weak not as weak as the msi by microtech which was a 58.2 so this is stronger than that but still no no it needs another point point and a half 60.5 would be okay 61 would be better but 59.3 is a little weak at 58.9 so you can see this thing when you poke it a couple times you it can vary a half a point you know okay so there's the keto telson okay the next one is the remet steed okay let's let's get the remet steed out here so this is your amazon special remet knives oh my god and i think this thing was all this was like a buck 68 buck 78 on amazon so it's supposed to be you know it's their their stud of a steed right here and it's supposed to be m390 isn't it and is it worth a d diddly dang and where did they poke it oh they poked it here and here okay so double poke remet steed nobody knows this uh this brand nobody cares who gives a crap except it's always stuff like that right it's always these kinds of knives here that drive you completely crazy. Check it out. Yes, it's real M390. Oh, let's look at this. Hold on. 
62.7? 62.6? Hello, Chicago. Oh my God, what the hell? I mean, just whatever. Can we all have a moment of silence? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I'm paying what for an MSI at 58.2? And I worry about a buck 68 for a, almost a 63 hardness? Okay, yeah, but it makes you wonder, doesn't it? And yeah, I don't know. They may have burned the edge when they did the final grind. Who knows? Blah, blah, blah. All that shit, right? Rip that page off. Let's start another one. But I'm just saying, it's hard. It's hard where they poked it. Okay, and if the edge is soft because they heated it up when they did the final grind, you can always sharpen it back a few layers, you know? I've heard guys say, yeah, it's really good now. It's really good, <laughs> whatever, you know, on knives that were burnt on the edge. But okay, so then this is one that went, I went back and forth and back and forth with one of the viewers because he goes, I love the look of this. And I did, I reported on it, right? I got a video on it and stuff. And it's like x uh or x or whatever, I don't know. But it's supposed to be M390, it's titanium. It's really light and nice and beautiful ergos, and I like it. And I go, and it's not, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't like a $40 banger. I can't remember what this was, but I think it was over 100 But I go, really? What are the odds? This is real M390. And holy smokes, mama. Uh, um, you know, this also... Not too shabby because he bought, well, he finally bought one, my buddy. He finally bought one and he goes, I only got so many days to return it. If it's not real, M390, blah, blah, blah. So I go, Psh, here you go. It just came back in time. And he goes, oh, I'm keeping it then. It's real M390, almost a 61 on this poke here. I'm, I'm not going to fault it. I mean, 60.5 or 60.8. I, I know it's not 63. 62, whatever, or like the Remet, but I mean, yeah, wow, wow, is that crazy? Okay, so we're on to the QSP Hornbill, and I love the Hornbill, uh, and the Hornbill's looking me right in the face. Okay, Hornbill, cool knife, love the design, everything, we got a couple pokes out of it, yeah, we did, poke here, poke over here, like it, like QSP. QSP is doing a lot of OEMing, and I just tried to cut myself. Wow, lovely. Okay, there we go. Act appropriately, and you won't have a problem. But this is the hornbill. Let's get to the hornbill. S35VN on this dog, okay? So S35VN, I think acceptable is 58 to 61 or 2, whatever, something like that. But here it is, and the hornbill is... Yes, it's real S35VN. Here's your elementals. You can see very easily. And then it is a 60.4, 60.2. I think that's good. S35VN, that's good. That's good for that stuff. I'm just telling you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're, we're all good with the hornbill. QSP's hitting it. Oh, here we go. This is the story on the, on the Crooked River. You know... And this is, I, I went on Benchmade site several years ago. And man, this, this is not looking all that cherry, is it? It's got prints on it. But I'm going to send this off to Sean and see if he can recut this edge. Because there's micro chipping in this thing. And I sent it off to Brian because I sent him a bunch of knives. And I said, can you put a mirror edge on them? I'm going to have them as like... Proud carry, rotation, EDC stuff. And this one I had never really carried or done anything with because I went on Benchmade and you can custom build a knife on their site, right? Whatever you want, you know, what color scales and how, how do you want the accent ring? This I got uh, from a guy in Australia that's on eBay. You can get these thumb studs and stuff and this and that. But deep carry pocket clip and you can, you know, how you want and what color do you want the bolts or all that. Okay, so I built it and I paid a ton of money because you don't get a deal, right? You get full ass MSRP. But this is 20 CV blade. Actually, I approached their booth in Atlanta and bitched at them because I says, I, 
I've had a guy that he, he sharpened a bunch of knives for me and they all were beautiful. This was kept microchipping and he just couldn't get it worked out. And they go, that's why we really don't mess with 20 CV much anymore and stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But here's the hardness on it. And so it's, you know, an equivalent to M390, correct? So here's the thing. Yes, you can see by the vanadium and everything, it's 20 CV. Here's the hardness. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. 60.1, 60.2, it's probably about what you're going to get most production knives if you get that high anymore. They all kind of waver around 50, high 58s to you know, just right under 60, most of them. But okay, this is 60.1, 60.2, okay. But that's the problem. I'm gonna send this off to my buddy Sean at Cape Coral. He's got a new system and he says, let me have a shot at it. So I'm gonna send it to him. And if that doesn't work out, I'm gonna send it back to Benchmade. Because they said, you can send it back to us. So, I mean, you know, we'll take care of you. So there's that. There's the Benchmade Crooked River. Too bad because it was, ooh. But I tried to cut paper with that thing. It won't even cut paper because it's just so jagged uh, in the microchipping stuff. Okay, Shield and Viper, which is this nasty boy right here. And this is, yeah, this is a problem too because this one here is a coated blade. Now, coating on a blade can make the Rockwell number seem soft when it's actually a little bit higher than what it indicates on the Rockwell because of the coating, okay? And so what did they do? Um, okay, so it is 154 CM as stated, okay? So it's that, but let me see what we got. A 58 on the hardness, 57.9, it says coated, no guarantee, right? So they're going, yeah, it, so I'm guessing it may be, it could be close to a 59, you know, uh, but I don't know for sure. So I'm not going to really hang my hat on anything, but 58 is nothing to be ashamed of necessarily on 154, but yes. So I'm thinking it's probably okay. It's the coatings throwing it off and that's nice. I'm glad that they kind of gave me a heads up on that. I had heard that before when I'd used another guy to do testing as well. He was aware of that kind of pitfall with coated blades. So if you ever have things tested for hardness, try not to have a coated blade or try and sand away the, the area that they're going to rock well on both sides because there's, a, there's the, the, thing underneath and then the diamond on top. So those both have to have a clear area. Um, the Cuvis knife is 14C, 28N. It's the one I've always been happy of just having and not necessarily wanting to buy further additions. I like this little dog. I love the uh, thing I, and I did. I, I, I talked to Lundquist when I was out there. He had his own table in Atlanta and this and that. Just about bought the PE3, and I may go around and pick that up later, whatever. Uh, but uh, this one is just nice. It's just nice. Um, and so I like I like it. It's just a simple, but it's a unique design. And so it's 14C28N. Yes, it is. Now, uh, 60.4. So we got anywhere from a 59, 58.9. So a about 59, let's say 59 to 60.4. So that's a spread, isn't it? And he goes, really no valid test sites. And that's the problem. I mean, they hit it here because see, you need a flat spot on a blade, you know? You need somewhere where they can get out. See, there's flat spot here. So if it's just a flat grind, one continual from top to bottom flat grind, then it's on an angle like this is. You can't test out here. You got to get it right on a flat area and they probably need a little bit more than that to do it. So they stabbed it. And so those are the results on the 14C. Um, really, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, even if it's a 59, that's, that's fine. That's fine for 14C. So, okay, it's good. I mean, as far as I'm concerned. 
Um, and you can, I mean, you're free to comment on this, but I, I think we're, I think we're really good there. Um, and then rip that page off. We're going to another page, guys. We're going to get through this. Uh, the Send Cut Brazoria and yeah, there it is. Here it is. I like this. I dyed the scales. People keep going, does that just rub off or what? No, it's not a crayon. It soaks into the scales. I mean, it's like if you dye your clothes, if you have clothes that are a certain color, it's because they were dyed. Do they change color? Does it just rub off on your hands? Nope. But in any case, okay, so I'm quit being facetious here. But um, but yeah, I like this. I like the send cut knives. This is a nice, simple bin. This is a good one right here. I like it. But I send it off. And what's it supposed to be? It's supposed to be D2. That's what they're saying. Oh, God, where do they bury that? Right here, right? D2, okay? So, what is this dog? Um, and here it is, the Sen Cat. So, it's a 60. Let's just, you know, average the two dots. A 60. Okay. I mean, that that's fine. You know, and especially for the price. They, they don't charge shit for their knives. And they're really good because they're made by Wee Knives, you know, Civivi, all that. So, okay. So we're good there. Now, Real Steel Munin. Munin. And this one is uh, Ivan Bragness design, I think. Yeah, it is. So you got a flat spot here to test on? Hell yeah. And look at it. They bind it twice. Now, this one, I like. The, you know, a lot of Ivan's designs I really like. I don't know, but that that just seems so... That bayonet type blade and everything, thumb ramp, uh, just super fidget friendly. Yeah, I like it. I'd like it better in blue G10 or a G10 of some sort. I'm just kind of losing it for the micarta stuff these days. But okay, so what do we got for real steel? Munin, Munin. Well, it's real VG10 as stated, okay. And it's a 61.3, 61.7 Rockwell. That that's good. That, that's that's good. Okay. So okay, we happy with that. Uh, what do we got? Oh, here's this one. This one. Let me look at this again. Okay. The Hogue. You know the RK. What is this? RK one. R RSK one. Whatever. Hogue, and it probably says it right here. No, it doesn't. Oh, it says it on the box, whatever. But it's the full size, okay? Um, and it's 20 CV. I got this one at the Texas Blade Show in 2022, and Doug Ritter was behind the counter, and I met him for the first time, I think, in person, and then uh, he signed the box and everything. I got a picture took with him as well. So this is that knife and it got banged twice, okay? Unfortunately, it's uh, not that hard. If you're saying that the Hogue at 20 CV ought to be somewhat equivalent to an M390 because the formula is similar to an M390, it's basically that formula. 58 to 58.1 is not very hard. USA made, baby. USA made. I love the knife, though. I love the knife. Um, so is it going to keep me from wanting to keep this? No. Yeah, no, it won't. It, I, I'm fine. Uh, but, but it should be better than that, right? Right? It should be a 60 at least, I would think. And, you know, and, or... or or just take this little dog. It was a 64. Come on, man. Amazon special? Seriously? Yeah, so, okay, that it was a bit of a of a downer to see this one at 58. Love the knife. Love the knife rights movement and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, I mean. I'm just reporting, okay? I'm not I'm not punching punching the divots, okay? Um, petrified fish, the morse, the morse. Okay, is that a chunky monkey? That's a chunky old dog, isn't it? But they have enough of a flat there to go bang bang, okay? And I'm glad they 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 punch them twice, you know, because they do it varies a little bit, right? So here's the morse. 
Yes, it is 154 cm as stated by the manufacturer. 60? Should we call it a 60? Close to a 60, right? So that's that's better. What was the 154 before that was like, well, we couldn't tell that was on that, yeah, on the shield and so. But this one, yeah, 60. Really close. That's good. That's good. I'm I'm good with that. Okay. So we're good with that. Next and uh, last one on this page, and we'll get to our last page, but uh, okay. CH knives, and here it is. Um, this is the, remember the CH3504 skull knife? I mean, I reported on this thing, oh God, seven years ago? Seven years ago. And um, so this is their S version. So it's S for small. Okay, it's small. And it's got this storm anno or lightning anno kind of done to it. Apparently, it, they buff it up or it's shiny underneath. So it's a glossy type of anno thing. So, and I did a video on this because they're available on the site. Okay, and guess what? Okay. Is it real M390? Yeah. Look at the vanadium content, chromium, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's M390. And look at it. It's about a 61. Not so shabby, Downton Abbey. You know, that's not too bad. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that dog. And the D2 ones I tested several years ago were really hard as well. So, okay, okay. So, boom. Last page last page and i'll let you go and you're going god thanks um okay devo and i kept looking around i'm going i was gonna put this on my channel where's that damn devo knife well duh i sent it out for testing so yeah it was gone and it came in i go oh god that's right so they poked it a couple of times on here and this little uh pony is uh is it's uh uh, oh, I think we screwed something up. Never mind. Hold on. Get back on this one. But okay. Here's the Devo Pony Stout. It's supposed to be 14C28N. Okay. Uh, and yes, it is. And it's uh, basically a 60 Rockwell. 60 Rockwell. Okay. And there's your, uh, there's your elementals. It's good. It's good. There you go. The pony is stout. It's a stout pony. Okay. Devo. And I think we screwed something up because I was saying the Mikado, and the Mikado is K110. Yeah, it is. And 154. I was, what was I, what was I reporting on before? The Morse. I'm sorry. Screwed this up. The Morse. What I reported on before was the Morse. I had the wrong knife in the picture. This is the Morse. It is 154 cm and it's basically a 60, okay? Okay, there's the Morse. I'm so sorry that I messed that up, okay? So going back, how am I gonna edit this? I have no idea, shit, but whatever. There it is, and that's what I get for having two of the same brand. But then this is the K110. So what is this then? And uh, this is the Petrified Fish Mikado, and I, whew, Morse and Mikado, both start with an M. This is D2. This one is, it's real D2. It's not gonna knock your socks off. I mean, not after you saw a 64. And of course the bag, uh, yeah, the bodega that I tested was a 62.1. These are 59. That's 59. It's okay. Nothing, you know, to make you jump out of your seats or anything. But it's real D2 or K110, same formula, basically. Uh, it's just bowler versus whatever. So, there it is. Okay? It is. It's a chunky monkey. Not overly hard, but not too soft either. Um, and where is... Uh, the Phobos Alaris, and I think I'm down to that. Is there anything I missed? Mm, nope. Okay, so 
last but not least, because I, I had the baby banter in here in Nitro V, and you know what? It's probably still in the pouch. Hold on. Okay, this is the Phobos Alaris, because it, it was so small, it probably just slipped way down into the pouch. I'll look for it here in a minute. Phobos Alaris 3V. Made in the USA, fixed blade. For operators, by operators, special forces. Made by Mr. Hansen. And uh, where did they poke this dog? They poke it on the back. I think I saw something. Hold on. Because it's stonewashed, it's hard to see where they poked it. But they poked it. And maybe they went way forward. Oh, you know what? Crap. I think they poked it under the, under here, under here, okay? Um, yeah, I think they did, okay? Because I told them they could take the scales off if they wanted. And especially to do the XRF if they wanted to. But, okay, so this thing is the Alaris. It's CPM3V. Yes, it's CPM3V. And he claims that his heat treat brings it between 58 and 59. That's what he claims, okay, on his paperwork. And it's 59.1, 59.4. So he hit it bang on, right? I mean, it's, yeah. And of course you want toughness, right? This is CPM 3V, okay? So you want it tough, You it's a bushcrafty type knife or whatever. And so, yes, so 58 to 59 would be appropriate for this kind of a knife. And he's bang on, and it is CPM 3V. So we're good there. Oh, my God. This thing was buried. Hold on. Okay. Let me, let me explain a few things to you. When I send them in, I take them out of their boxes, and I put them in these. Okay, so I sent 18 knives in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I had three of these pouches. They all filled up. But the thing is, the baby banter slid all the way down in here and so when i went to look for it it was like so far buried down there i forgot i i didn't feel deep enough to know that it was there so i missed it okay so we're gonna go back to the baby banter um and it is a nitro v okay so here's the baby banter results vanadium chromium you know all this stuff okay it is nitro v Surprise, surprise, right? But about a 60. It's about a 60. And there's the bang, bang right there on the blade. One, two, okay? So what do you think? Baby banter, just about sitting at a 60 on the Nitro V. That's all good. It's all good. I'd say, you know, the disappointments here are probably that some of the 58 was a little, I mean, some of the... Uh, uh, 154 was a little soft on this, but then again, probably explained by the coating. Uh, this was crazy hard. This was soft for 20 CV. It should have been higher than that. All the rest of them were as is, and we didn't catch anybody lying about the blade steel, so those were all legit. Everything else seems to be, as far as hardness goes, Pretty good, pretty solid right in the brackets of where you'd want it anyhow, what we consider acceptable hardness, you know. So we're good. I mean, even no names like this. Is this crazy? Bang, bang. But you know what? All of a sudden, this is this is pretty cool. Um, and definitely this crazy thing. Get out of here. That's insane, isn't it? So, okay. I'm going to let you go. I've taken enough of your time. This is Test Batch 3, and I'm going to do another one. I'm already starting to get knives together for that, so uh, I will. And I'll follow up with Phobos, the, the Tier 1 BC and the Calcula. The, those are S35VN and Magna Cut, respectively. So if I can get an uncoated version, I can get Rockwell. and But the Alaris turned out fine, so... I'm expecting those to probably do within their stated hardness levels, etc. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to contribute to the cost of testing, that's fine. Otherwise, hey, I hope you appreciate what we're doing here. You guys, stay sharp.